Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, box filter bonanza. That's right, folks. We're going to clean these disgusting things. I'm going to show you how to do it, talk about some basics of box filters. So go get a snack and a beverage. Of course, in the comments below, let me know what it is. And stand by. All right, fishy folks, hope you have your snack and your beverage. Before we get started, you know the drill. If you haven't done so already, obliterate that notification button. Gently caress the subscription bell. And of course, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Box filter 101, one of the oldest and simplest form of filtration in our hobby. I remember box filters when I was a kid, which was like 167 years ago. I'm a vampire. Um, and basically, all it is is a box with mechanical media and biological media and an airline that creates lift. Air goes in, bubbles come out, that creates lift just like a sponge filter and then debris and water gets um, filtered through. So you have usually stones or some sort of media to weigh it down which is also uh, your um, biological media, nice porous stones. And then I use filter floss. You can use whatever you want for your mechanical. It's pretty the, pretty much the easiest and cheapest, and you know I'm all about easy and cheap. And a filter floss, I use the polyfill. You can buy this at Michael's, Walmart, Target. I usually wait for there to be the coupon for uh, Michael's and then I get as many coupons as I can find. Boom, buy a couple bags, last me all year. Um, the next question you're gonna ask me or you're thinking to yourself is, Mike, how often do I clean a box filter? Is it like my hang on back filter where the manufacturer says to clean it every month when they're replaced with new cartridges? No, it's not. You clean it when it needs to be cleaned, which you should clean all your filters like that. And how often it needs to be cleaned all depends on the type of fish, you know, cause plecos poop a lot, guppies don't. So you know what I'm saying? The type of fish, how much you feed them, how much they poop, how much water you change, how often do you gravel vac or clean the bottoms if you don't have any gravel, is there any other filtration in the tank that's helping with um, um, mechanical filtration, all these different things. So basically this one is way overdue. It's, it's probably, I would say it's at least two months and uh, it probably should be done every two weeks. It's a small filter, big pooper in that tank. But let's go over the basics, okay? So here's the it's a corner box filter. They come square, they come uh, uh, rectangle, they come in a corner shape, they come in a fancy star pattern like my Japanese ones, hexagon, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, octagon shape, you know. Anyway, here's the basics of cleaning a box filter. First thing you do is you pull off the top and it's pretty nasty. We're gonna clean that in the sink. Now you have the filter floss on top, which is just a poop filled disaster. Again, this is fish poop. You're gonna to wanna to wash your hands when you're done. You wanna be careful. You don't wanna splash it in your mouth. That's gross. So that's the poop filled disaster. Then at the bottom are rocks. And now what the rocks do is weigh it down and they're also um, biological media. I have different kinds of rocks in all my things. Some of them are the, you know, the really porous, uh, whatever these are called from whatever company. Some of them are just regular rocks. I break up um, lava rock sometimes. The issue with lava rock and box filters, while I love it as a, a biological media, it's actually pretty light. So sometimes it doesn't weigh the box filter down. So here's what we do. We're gonna pour these rocks out. We're gonna clean them. Now, you should clean them in dechlorinated water, which luckily I happen to have in the fish room. If you use water from the tap, you're going to kill the biological uh, beneficial bacteria. Wow. You're going to kill the beneficial bacteria and throw your tank into a mini cycle. So either clean it in dechlorinated water or don't clean it at all. It's that simple. I'm going to use dechlorinated water. Stand by. Fishy folks, another helpful tip for you. Use a big net, pour the rocks in the big net, 
pour the dechlorinated water over it, boom, clean. That's what I do. That's how I roll. All right, now, I didn't really scrub the box filter because there's beneficial bacteria on there that I don't want to destroy. So here's what we do. Put this over here for now. Put this over here, which you still can't see, so oh well. Uh, a couple more parts to the, the filter. Thank you, sump pump. Greg Jones, that was for you. All right, fishy folks, I'm coming on the other side of the camera. Hiya. So, box filter, bottom, base, right? So you put this in, you put the rocks on top, you put the uh, filter floss, you put the lid. And basically what this does, you can see there's holes there, the uh, air goes in, creates lift through the bubble hole, <laughs> And that's how you get that, uh, that motion of, of uh, suction. And so this particular filter will suck the water in from the top and it goes through the tube and uh, basically creates lift. That's wrong. So this filter has the, whole, the slits in the top and so air comes in the top. Air will come in this tube and create bubbles through this tube, which is what creates lift. And so when this is in the filter, like this, bubbles come in, creates lift through here, water gets sucked in through here, through your mechanical media, and then your biological media, and then boom, filtered water. All right, let's build this thing back together. First thing you gotta do, put rocks in. Usually I spill these all over the place. Yep. Good thing I'm consistent. Now, again, you can use whatever you want for these rocks. I happen to use whatever I have lying around. Some of these rocks are special rocks, meaning they're, their whole purpose is to be porous for beneficial bacteria, like this one. I don't know if that's the Seachem one or whatever it is. Some of them are just porous rocks. Uh, and in some of my filters, I do use lava rock, of course. All right, I'll put a link to this polyfill if you want to buy from Amazon. It will be an affiliate link. So if you click it and buy something, I make like, I don't know, half a penny. Um, if you click the link and buy anything on Amazon, I make like two pennies, I don't know. Oh, so. Filter floss, polyfill, you just kind of fill it in. I put as much as I can fit. Um, and the lid still stays on. And just a couple things to note here. The polyfill or um, mechanical filtration also works as biological miltra filtration. Miltration, nice. I'm not having a problem, I swear. What the Jesus is going on? Excuse me while I get some duct tape. All right, we're good. All right guys, I'm gonna clean the Japanese box filter. Watch you guys hang around, let's watch that. Here's the Japanese box filter, lots of snails. Should we love snails? All right, this one is pretty much the same thing, just a different shape. There is a little bit difference to these guys. Uh, when they're new, they have um, they have like a tube in there, and a uh, I don't know if you can see it because it's so mucky, but and like an air stone. This one has lava rock in it, as you can see. I'm gonna clean these rocks the same way. Dump them in. Bring them over. Oh. All right, fishy folks, same thing. Didn't really wipe the inside down too much. Here's our inside of our Japanese box filter. This is the same one I bought my last trip. Uh, so here's the little air stone. Here's the fancy 
doohickey to hook it up. That's a technical term, doohickey, look it up. And this one has the slits on the bottom. It doesn't have that insert. So basically the air is through here. It goes through the biological, I'm sorry, the biological media first and then the mechanical media. I'm actually gonna switch that around. I'm gonna put the filter floss on the bottom and see what happens, because that's probably better. Throw in an audible. Calling an audible? I'm not a football guy. I just thought that sounded good. Apparently, I'm an idiot. So we'll put some filter floss. And we dropped all our mechanical, I mean our biological media back in the water, because that's how we roll. And we're gonna put some lava rock. Lava rock is fantastic in my opinion for media. And we're gonna put these rocks, try not to spill them all over the place. And again, all right. This one also has these fancy uh, clips to hold it in place. I'll put a link to my Japanese box filter video. Should be good. All right, folks, stand by. I'm gonna install them back in Chewy's tank and we're gonna see how they bubble. All right, stand by. Stand by, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Promise. All right, fish folks, you can see the bubbles have increased, which means the efficiency has increased. And we'll just move some of this food out of the way. And Chewy's checking it out. He tried to bite me when I put my hand in there. He should know not to bite the hand that feeds him, but he's just a fish. He doesn't really care. Anyway, fishy folks, I'm going to go ahead and uh, gravel vac his tank and uh, leave it at that. So you guys have a great Sunday, and uh, we'll see you on Wednesday for our next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, uh, buy lots of fish, um, and just, just overall, don't forget to be cool. Have a great day. Nice cock. All right, fishy folks, hope you have your snack. Let's get right into it. No, let's not get right into it. All right, fishy folks, you know the drill. Before we get started with the meat and potatoes of the video, go ahead and smash that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently caress the notification bell. And of course, when we're done, check out michaelsfishroom.com. All right, box filters 101. It's the simplest, maybe it's not as simple as a sponge filter. It's pretty damn simple though. Hiya fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, box filter basics. That's right, we're gonna clean Chewy's filters. So you can see the disaster of filters that are right there, even though there's too much glare, stand by. Hiya fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Don't bother the glare, it's always there. fishy folks all right fishy folks do me a favor I gotta go fix the camera because it's crookeder than a cat's ass stand by